So we bless God. We are finally come for the first, the end of the first day of our fasting. It wasn't all that easy. Ah, season one in the morning, midnight, the one in five, four in the morning, till and the one now we thank God we have finally come to the third stage of the first fasting this morning. We want to bless God because He is God. Without God, we could not be able to make it today. And I thank you also for your strength because some people will say, I beg, let me sleep, but you guys did not sleep. It means that we were really we were ready for the battle. We are ready to enter the 2022 with all the full grace of God in our life. Amen. So before I start, I will start with one word of prayer, with the opening prayer, and then I will sing some hymn songs. Because I'm taking my song from hymn book, the song book, Le, Le Livre de Chant. C'est là-bas que je prends mes chansons. Et on va commencer d'abord par la prière, mm -hmm. avant qu'on continue. So, Father, I want to thank you for this day. We want to thank you for giving us the strength to be able to finish the first fasting of this day, Father. We thank you, Lord, because you are the same God that reigns in our life. You are the same God yesterday and you remain the same God forever. Father, we know that you are the one that will give us the strength to overcome these days that we, have, we are fasting, Lord. We thank you for you that have given us the grace, Lord. We know sometimes we want to eat, we are tempted to eat, we are tempted to drink water, but we thank you that you were there and your presence was there with us, Lord. So as we, we end this fasting for today, Lord, we want to thank you for what you have done and what you will still do in our life in Jesus' name. Till we meet again to start the midnight fasting again in Jesus' name. So, Amen. I will sing... <clears throat> This one, you know, in life, everywhere that we go, we go with Jesus. We are not only on our own. We are with God anywhere that we are. You might think that you are on your own. No, you are with Jesus. He is with you. Because there are many Bible verses that he promised that I will never leave you nor forsake you. He prom his, his promises will always come to pass in our life. Amen. And say, I know the Lord will find a way for me. I know the Lord will find a way for me. <clears throat> if I walk in heaven's light, shone the wrong and do the right. I know the Lord will find a way for me. The Lord has said, thank you, thank you. The Lord has said, go preach the word to all the world. The Lord has said, go preach the word. To all the world, if I walk in heaven's light, shun the wrong and do the right, I know my Lord will find the way for me. The last one, won't it be grand to hear him say, well done. Won't it be grand to hear him say, well done. If I walk in heaven's light, shun the wrong and do the right. Won't it be grand to hear him say, well done. You know, we would like the Almighty God to say, well done. We would like the Almighty God to bless us. We would like to, the Almighty God to lay his hands and receive all, he, all his favor and take all his favor from him. But he said we should shun the wrong and do the right. We should turn away from the wrong things. We are now going on this three days fasting. This is the, the end of the first day fasting. We have to do away with many of those things 
that are hindering us. We have to do away with many of those things that can block us not to receive those those flav those favors, those blessings that we have been asking from God. We have to turn away from all the evils way so that we can receive every blessings, every favor that we are asking from God. Because there are a lot of things that might hinder our sins, that might hinder us not to receive that blessings, not to receive that favor from God. We have to turn away from all those things. That is why they say, repent, repent, and be baptized. Repent from your sins. Turn away from all those things that have been disturbing you, that has been making you not to receive God's favor, not to receive the blessings from God. Turn away. Is it bitterness? Is it hatred? Is it anger? Is it malice? Is it gossip? Any, is it backbiting? Is it <coughs> looking at someone that you don't know, you just hate the person? Is that the thing that is hindering you from coming closer to God? Anything that you see that is the one drawing you away from God. You have to stop them. You have to go away from God so that you can receive favor from God's eyes. You have to go away from the things that can make you not to have that direct contact, direct communication link with God. Many things can stop us not to have that communication with God. Many things can stop us not to have that relationship that we really want to have with our Father just because of those little, little things that I have mentioned. There are some kind of sins that you even commit alone in your room, in your house. Without anyone knowing it, but God knows that those are the things that are hindering. But everyone sees you every day. You go to church. You work, you fellowship with everyone in the church. You always put on that smile. But deep down in you, there are some terrible sins that you commit that you yourself, you don't know how to go away from them. You have to repent from those things and come to God. His blessings are always there before you. His hands is widely open. I will read us some Bible verses. Where he, he promised. When we look in the book of um, Hebrews chapter 13 verses 5. He said keep your life free from love of money. And be content with what you have. For he has said. It's not only about the love of money. It's not only about the love of material. There are many other sinful things. <coughs> People are dying. People are being, you are, you are backbiting. You are backstabbing others. They are sucking people from work. They are destroying the life of the others just because of you. But you are saying, people are seeing you going to church. They don't know that those are some of the things that, that hindered you not to receive that favor from God. He says in that same verse in, in, in B, he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Because he will always be with you. God gives his word and he always comes to pass in our life. If we look in the book of um, Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. He said, knock, seek. Whenever you knock, the door will be open. Whenever you seek, you will find. When you ask, you will have what you seek for. You understand? Which means that he has made a plain paper, plain table before you. Now it is your choice. What is your choice? Are you ready to walk, to continue walking in the path of darkness? Or are you ready to repent from those sins, those things that are hindering you not to receive those blessings from God? Are you ready to go away from all those things that are making you not to receive your healings or your deliverance from the hands of God? Because many things can make you, you can pray from now till today. That problem that you come with in the house of God still stands still because you have not repented from those things that they are chopping you. You have not repented from those evil ways that you are walking. But you keep walking on them. But every blessed day you will be running from one man God, of God to another man of God praying, seeking for deliverance. Meanwhile, you are still holding these things captive with you. You never leave them. You never abandon them. You never drop them. There are some things that if you don't leave them, they will still work against you. Not with you. They will work against you. But you think that they are working for your own favor. So if you go to the book of Genesis chapter 28 verses 15. I'm reading from NIV Bible. He said, I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. That is the, the first part. A. The Lord God is with us. He has given us all his promises. 
that nothing can hold us captive. Anything that you think that it can hold you or is the one protecting you, it does not protect you. It's, it does not protect you. It kills you. God is with you. He is the one walking with you. He says, I am with you. That is still Genesis 28, 15. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. The Lord is the one protecting your life. He is the one watching over you. The enemy will always try to kill you. The hands of darkness will always try to frustrate you, to bring you down, to destroy you. But the Almighty God will always be there for you. So try to check yourself. Set yourself and look anything that is holding you not to have that direct relationship with God. Anything that is hindering you not to have that connection with God, try to drop them down. God is the author of everything that we have today. If you read, as we read yesterday in the book of um, Isaiah 45, we can see that he owns everything in this world. If you read 43, he is the one, he said he created the light and he created darkness. When he opened his hands, no one can close it. No matter what kind of God you may think that you are worshipping. God is the author of all those darkness. And we go down again. He said, I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised in your life, in you. I have done what I have promised in you. Which means that there is a lot of promise that God has promised you. And what is the promise that God has promised you? What is the things that you really want God to do in your life? What are the changes you really want God to change in your life, in your situation that you are going through today? We really have to hold our fasting very tight. Because this is the first time fasting that we have finished we are finishing now at this moment you really need to search yourself you really need to look yourself shift everything that you see that is not of god in your life take them out even you cannot do it on your own beg god say father in the mighty name of jesus anything that you see that it is not of you in my life take it away flush it out remove it Anything that is is hindering the relationship, the communication link, the communication, the communication link between me and you, Father, take it away from me. Anything that you ask God, you will, He will give it to you. So we have to come to God with clean heart, open heart. We have to know that God is the author of our life. Apart of God, there is no other There is no other God. We have no other God to believe. We have no other God to worship. We have no other person to run to. God is the author. He is the one that we have. He is the only Father that we worship. If someone tell you that apart of God, there is other person, tell that person that you are a liar. There is no other person apart of God. The God that you know, the God that I know, the God that our great-grandmother, our great-grandfather, they were worshipping before. is the same God and he remained the same God forever. Let no one tell you that there is other God out of the, the creator of the whole universe. And when we go down to Isaiah 40, 41 verses 10. Isaiah 41 verses 10. He said, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Who can promise you that kind of promises if not only God? He said, fear not. Because he knows that he has overcome anything that can frustrate your life. Anything that can hinder your miracle. Anything that can, that can hinder your blessings. Anything that can hinder the favor of God upon your life. He said, fear not. Because he has overcome all those things. He knows that he has overcome all those things. That no plans of the enemy will ever befell you. Fear not. He is with you. Nothing on earth should make you to be afraid that, oh, if I don't do this one, or if I don't worship this thing, um, no, uh, my life will, will, will finish. God is the one that can give you life, and God is the one that can take away the life of you. So I want to beg us today that set your mind, 
set your heart we have started this fasting since yesterday night till today we are still here praying five o'clock we were still here up praying and now we are still here cutting cutting the fasting of today so let us search our mind and free everything that can hinder us. Is it someone that we are holding in our mind? Is it the spirit of anger? Is it the spirit of hatred? Is it the spirit that is making us not to free our friends, our brothers and sisters from our mind? But we keep on every blessed day saying that we are praying. We are calling on God. When we know that those things are the one that is blocking us not to receive that divine connection with God. We have to go away from all those things. We have to drop those things. We have to move on like daughters of Zion, as the, we call this our platform. So that the Lord God will dwell in our hearts. The Lord God will be with us. The Lord God will make a way in our life where there seems to be no way. So that the Lord God will fight our battle. The Lord God, we bring that healing that we have been looking for. We bring that, that fruit of the womb that we have been praying for. We bring uh, uh, that our husbands that we have, been, we have been praying for, for all these years. We have to free our mind. Because some of our things that we are holding in our heart are the ones that are the cause of our blockage. They are the ones that even make us worse in our situation. That we cannot receive. That divine, that divine connection with God. They are the ones that are blocking us. We cannot receive that blessing, that favor, that miracle that the Lord God has assigned or designed. What are your cause? What are your purpose? Are we working with God or are we working against God? Are we working for the plan of God in our life? Or we are working against the plan of God in our life? We have to see today, the first, this first day of us is just to purify us, to cleanse us, to wipe away everything that can hinder us, that can distract us, to have that connection with God. Cleanse it off, stay off those things. Free your heart, open up your heart. We are entering 2022. You don't have to take anyone with you in your heart. You don't want to have to sleep and carry someone. How will I call this person to say sorry? How will I call this person to say, I uh, may this person forgive me? It's just an easy thing. You as a Christian, always humble yourself. Keep pride away for it not to take you to hell. Go and call your friend. Go and call that your neighbor. Go and call that person. That's your enemy. Call him on phone or you can meet with him face to face. Say, I am sorry. Forgive me. I want us to enter this 2022 with full peace of mind. With the grace of God upon us. With the love of God. So I want us to repent from all our sins. The Lord God has given us a lot of promises in our Bible verses that I have read. Sidoni, I will give the Bible verses to you later, okay? So you can write it down also. Those are the things that God, God promised us. He said it. And if we read the book of Isaiah 43 verses 2 that we read yesterday also in the night. He said, when you pass through the water, I will be with you. And through the rivers... They shall not um, overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. And the flame shall not consume you. That is the promises of God in your life. Because God knows that as we are living on this earth, there will be a lot of challenges. A lot of difficulties. A lot of tribulation. But as long as God's words stand, He will always go with us. He said it. He said it. He said it. If you read the book of that very uh, Genesis 28, 15. He said, I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. That is the word of God in your life. You have to hold on, uh, uh, on his word. And you will see that the promise of God, the promises of God will come to pass in your life. He said in the book of Joshua chapter, chapter 1 verses 5. He said, no, no, no man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Just as 
I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. Who is that man? Is that man that is coming to destroy you? Who is that man? Is that man that is coming to frustrate your life? Is that man that is coming to bring you the bucket of sin that you have to do away with it in the end of this fasting? Who is that man? Is the man that will make you, you will carry his name in your head, in your mind, in your mouth. And you will be telling everyone, this person has hurt me. Just because the enemy wants you to dwell in sin. But the Lord God say, I will be with you. As I was with your father Moses. I will never leave you nor forsake you. We have to hold on the word of God. It's very strong and it stands firm. When you see that Isaiah 43 verses 2. When he said that when you pass through the water, I will be with you. Which means that there are many obstacles that will come on your way. But the Lord God will not leave you. He will be with you. Then he continues saying that. And through the rivers, they shall not... Uh, overwhelm you because you know when the river you fall in the river either it kills you it takes you away but he said that i will be with you you shall pass through the river but they will not overwhelm you because problems will cover you tribulation will cover you thinking thought of mind those things that you cannot explain to people they will be chopping you up but he said that they will not overwhelm you they will not he said, uh, when you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. The flame will not set you at last. Because talk of people, what that will be coming out from people will be burning you. The things that, the sins that you have committed secretly, knowingly or unknowingly, they are burning you like fire. But if you trust in God, all those things will not burn you. All those things will not set you at last. Why? Because the Lord God himself will fight for you. He himself is there. He will fight for you. The plans of the enemy will never be able to accomplish in your life because he is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Trust in the word of God. It will always come to pass in your life. His promises will never fail. What he say he will do, he will do it. That is God forever. And he remains the same God till today. Amen. So we, we thank God for this message. This message is for us to repent from all our sins. It's for us to repent and go, do away with most things that is holding us captive in our hearts. Those things that are holding us captive that cannot make us to receive the blessings and the favor from God. The miracles that God has assigned for us to receive them. We cannot receive them just because of those things that they are chopping us off. So this message is for us to repent. To do away with all those things and to forgive our brothers and sisters, our parents, to forgive our friends and family, those that they hurt us every blessed day, our colleagues, we have to forgive them and free from the bondage of the enemy so we can have that clean communication and direct relationship with God Almighty. Amen. Amen. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for this message. We bless your name because you are God and there is no like you. Amen. So, mommy, so take over now. Thank you.
Donc, euh, nous allons maintenant demander pardon à Dieu. Nous allons toujours demander pardon à Dieu. Parce que nous péchons tous les jours en pensée, en pension et permission. Nous allons demander pardon pour le péché de nos parents même. Nous savons, parce que la Bible dit que je vous condamnerai le péché de vos parents nous suivant. Donc nous allons nous déconnecter ce temps de sang de tous les péchés que nous lions au péché de nos parents. Que demandons à Dieu pardon, qu'il nous déconnecte et qu'il nous déconnecte de nos propres péchés. Et nous allons nous voir demander pardon à Dieu. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you today, Father, to ask for your mercy. Father, we ask for your mercy upon our lives, for any way that we have offended you, any way that we have gone against your will, any way that we have gone short of your glory. Father, we ask for your mercy in our lives. We ask for your mercy in Jesus' mighty name. We ask for your mercy, O oh good Lord. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are the Alpha, the Omega. You are the entrance of God, the beginning and the end. Father, any way that we have have offended you, O oh Lord. Father, have, we ask for your mercy. Any whether we have gone against your will, Father, we ask for your mercy. Father, anything that is holding us captive, that we cannot repent from them. Father, today, we ask for your mercy to repent from all those things. Father, we ask for your mercy to repent from anything that is holding us captive, not to have that communication with you. Father, we ask for your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. We say, Lord, may you forgive us. Forgive our shortcomings in the mighty name of Jesus. Forgive us, oh dear Lord. Forgive us, King of Glory. Forgive us, Heavenly Father. Father, forgive us that we could not be able to forgive our brothers. We cannot be able to forgive our parents, our husband, our children that they have offended us. Father, give us that heart of grace so we can be able to forgive anyone that has ever hurt us. Father, we pray for your mercy. Father, we pray for your mercy. We pray for your mercy. Father, may your mercy speak on our behalf. May your mercy speak on our behalf, oh Lord. May your mercy speak on our behalf in Jesus' name. May your mercy speak on our behalf in Jesus' name. May your mercy speak on our behalf in Jesus' name. May your mercy speak on our behalf in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Le Saint-Esprit qui est avec nous, le Saint-Esprit qui dirige, qui nous dit tout ce qu'on va faire, et on va prendre le Saint-Esprit pendant ce moment de jeûne, qui nous parle, qui nous montre les choses cachées pendant ces jours de jeûne. Nous allons invoquer le Saint-Esprit et lui demander sa lumière. Parce que c'est le meilleur professeur d'histoire. Et les gens vont inviter le Saint-Esprit dans vos vies. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we begin to invite the Holy Spirit to come and take control. Father, we invite the Holy Spirit to come and take total charge at this moment. We invite the presence of the Holy Spirit, oh dear Father. We invite the Holy Spirit to come and take total control over our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we invite the Holy Spirit to be the master of our minds this moment. We invite the Holy Spirit, oh good Lord, to come and take total control over the heart and of each and every one of us here, Lord. Father, we speak. Uh, I beg that music, yeah. I beg. Father, we pray that may you take total control in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you. Now, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today, we have finally come for the first, the end of the first day of our fasting. <laughs> it was not easy, but God, we bless God for everything. Ah, me that I like to drink water in the night, it wasn't easy for me. I wanted to drink water, but I was like, oh God, help me, let me just sleep off. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. So, 
brothers and sisters father every plans of the enemy against our life father begin to frustrate it tonight begin to frustrate it at this moment father every manifestation of the enemy upon our family upon our husband's life upon our marriage upon our children's life father begin to cancel it in the mighty name of jesus begin to cancel it heavenly father arise and fight our battle arise and fight our battle arise oh good jesus and destroy every plans of the enemy for Create all their plans upon our life, upon our children's life, upon our friends and family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Father, fight for us. Fight for us. Wherever they are gathered, wherever they are sitting. Any meeting concerning our name. Any gathering of the enemy concerning our name. Every plan of the enemy concerning our name. Concerning our marriage. Concerning our children. Concerning our life. Father, we pray that may you frustrate them. Father, arise and scatter their gathering. Arise and frustrate their gathering. Arise and scatter their meetings. Today, wherever they are gathered, is it in our villages? Is it in our homes? Father, is it in our houses? Father, every four corner in our houses, wherever they are gathered, Father, arise and frustrate their plans. Arise and scatter them. Arise and render them useless today. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we know that you are hearing us. We know that you are answering our prayer. We know that you have accepted our our supplication father we know that it will come to you in the mighty name of jesus father we know you are god we thank you jesus we know you are answered thank you jesus we know that you are god that speaks on our behalf we know that you are god that fight our battles we know that you have done it again we know that you have destroyed all the plans of the enemy all their evil yoke all evil evil calabash every evil altar that they are doing incantation libation concerning our name every day and night in the midnight early in the morning Morning, 12 midday father we thank you that you have fight and deliver us from their chains every chain you have broken every barrier every yoke Father, you have destroyed it in the mighty name of Jesus. Every bondage that they have put us, Father, we thank you for delivering us from their bondages in the mighty name of Jesus. Every cage of the enemy upon our life, Father, we know that you have liberated us from their cages in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father, we thank you, King of Kings, for in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. come for the first the end of the first day of our fasting <laughs> it was not easy but god we bless god for everything ah me that i like to drink water in the night it wasn't easy for me i wanted to drink water but i was like oh god help me let me just sleep off God will make a way where there seems to be no way. So, 